explain the hypnosis inductions so that it makes sense for you. That's what you're going to find out in this video, so make sure you stay to the end so that you can watch all three different types of inductions. This first induction is one of my favourite inductions. This is a conversational hypnosis induction. And what you'll notice in this video, which you're going to watch in a moment, is when I start talking, I start talking about things that is completely unrelated to what we are talking about. One, you add confusion to them, but two, you start to allow them to take on words because you're using something external. You're not being direct, you're being very, very indirect of what you're saying. And in this example, I'm actually using myself, but the words that I'm using, she will take on in the session. I think I told you I went into an ice bath, didn't I? Yeah. And when I first went into the ice bath, I was getting a bit cocky thinking, no, this isn't going to be that cold until I put my first left foot in. When I put my left foot in, I realized, okay, this is, this is cold. This is cold. This is, this is going to numb my foot. And then I went to my shin, to my knee, to my hip until my whole left leg was submerged in the ice. And it was as if it was numb and completely frozen stuck in that one position. So I put my right leg in, my foot, my shin, my knee, all the way up to my hip until both my legs were submerged in the ice, completely stuck and completely frozen. So what I'm doing in this part is I'm talking about numbing the body. And when I use the words numbing the body, I'm talking about my body. But when we have these conversations, it's going to be like we take it on for ourselves and we take it at the external for actually us. For example, if you said to someone um, enough times and you use the suggestion of the creaky old door and stuff like that, the rusty door hinges on the door and the, the old door, if someone's sitting down, then you encourage them to get up. They may, I'm not saying this is going to happen every single time because it's just a suggestion, but they may be getting up like, oh, God, my knees, my joints, my hinges hurt a bit. They're a bit creaky, they're old, they're rusty. You're starting to imply things without implying it directly to them. It's completely indirect. And this is why my favorite style of hypnosis, because you don't have to be direct and say, you are now feeling relaxed. It's more along the lines of, I was feeling so numb and relaxed. Can you do the same? And it's such a cool and unique way of doing hypnosis. Possibly one of my favorites. And it was as if my body was saying, weirdly, you're stuck, you're frozen, but you're actually calm. Because being stuck and frozen doesn't have to be a scary thing. Does it? No. It can actually help you find the answers to become more disciplined. And just as I submerged from my waist to my stomach to my chest, it was as if my whole body was just completely numb now. When my whole body was completely numb, It was as if I could not move it. So this next one is, is quite funny. This is with um, a great, a great lady that we uh, had a great session with. And if you haven't seen the whole session as well, make sure you click this one up here. This is an incredible session. This was a very, she's incredibly suggestible and this worked brilliantly. So another thing on top of that, if you're suggestible, you can use that to your advantage and you can make so many shifts in your life because you can use suggestion to really shift your life that much quicker. What is happening <laughs> right now? <laughs> Why is that happening? What just happened? What are you doing? <laughs> there, you there you go. Wait, should I not have done that? I should have just gone into it. What are you doing? This is gnarly. <laughs> You're doing perfect. You're doing absolutely perfect. So I'm encouraging that she's doing perfect, whatever she's doing, and she knows what she should be doing, but I'm not telling her what to do again. I'm just implying, you're doing perfect, you're doing perfect. And I'm kind of insinuating it with my gestures that, yeah, you should have. Can you do that? And I'm not telling her what to do. I'm being very indirect again. Um, so this is just, again, this is another conversational hypnosis style all over Zoom as well. That's exactly that what she Okay. What other questions do you have? That would be taken away from the presence, wouldn't it? 
Yes. There you go. As you can see in this one, it's not really conversational hypnosis. It's more of just me staring into the camera and go. allowing her to feel the power that I have. Now, in hypnosis, the main thing that you need to realize is that you don't really have as much power as you think. You're actually just convincing them that you have the power. But what's really happening is you're giving them the power to hypnotize themselves. Because that's what all hypnosis really is, is self-hypnosis. You're convincing them that they trust you enough to hypnotize them. But without their consent of going into hypnosis, they wouldn't go into hypnosis. So it has to be all self-hypnosis. That sort of is real hypnosis. But as you can see here, all I'm doing is just staring at her and telling her that she's doing perfect. Now, when you're telling someone that they're doing perfect, they're doing the right thing, they're going to continuously go into that state because they're like, okay, I'll keep doing this. And this third one is one with a guy who has Tourette's and the fascinating thing which I was mostly fascinated about is that you can not have any tics during hypnosis, which I was, that's what I was like most fascinated about. I was like, this is crazy. You can actually not have tics considering you have Tourette's through a, um, a hypnosis session and it goes to show the real power of hypnosis that the body is so completely and fully relaxed and let go that it doesn't even associate with what it used to be. That being having Tourette's as an example. Like so this is, this is sort of like, all, all hypnosis that I do on Zoom is gonna be used with words, it's all gonna be used with words, but this is more of a traditional induction, which is eye fixation induction, where you get someone to stare at something, and you get them to stare and just stay completely focused on that one spot, because what you're doing is, hypnosis is a focused state of relaxation. You're getting them to stare at one thing, one place, that gets them to completely focus and drown out all surroundings and just listen to the sound of my voice. Now when they're listening to the sound of my voice, they can relax. And you may even notice it from this video that you feel yourself relaxing just by the words that I'm using in this video. And you may find that funny, you may find that interesting. And it's all just by the power of my words. By just focusing now. And Adam, it's as if when you focus, Everything quiets down and you can feel yourself drifting down by just focusing and listening to the sound of my voice. So what I wanted to say actually, is if you want to learn hypnosis, I'm actually gonna be teaching people hypnosis, but also I'm gonna be taking one special person on a journey and filming like a whole documentary style thing. Um, so if you wanna go through that with me, comment down below me, uh, I want to learn hypnosis, and if you are the winner, I will take you on the journey and we will take you through a whole hypnosis journey. There you go. And even in those silent pauses, you can allow yourself to drift down. And the most fascinating thing specifically about this one is I'm gonna show you actually. So you can see the pattern of the words that I'm using here. Down. And you can feel yourself. You can see like the words, 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 down. words words like just words so what i'm doing here is i'm just keeping a pattern so you're keeping a pattern to the language that's what makes music so satisfying there's a pattern to it again and again now this is another thing you can use in hypnosis to help someone go into a state of hypnosis so again this is a very simple and easy induction this is probably one of the first ones that i would always recommend for people to start with just because it's easier you're learning the hypnotic language but you're also just getting them to stay focused and relaxed on something you're getting their eyes to stay focused and actually when you stare at something anyway you start to you start to just drown out everything else and your eyes start to become heavier because you're staring at something and you just want to blink and then you can use that and you can feel yourself wanting to blink now, just as if you want to close your eyes now. You're just really encouraging 
that state of hypnosis just by them focusing on one specific point. Even deeper into the most relaxed state of hypnosis. A state where you can find answers to the questions that I ask you. And you may have noticed how relaxed you feel. As if the ticks aren't there. Again, still in that pattern of language. Ooh, and you may have noticed reduce. And that's an intro. The pauses are intentional as well. Sometimes it's it. it's good to pause and just get them to go. What's he going to say next? What's he going to say next? And sometimes they will fill it in themselves. So what happens when you feel like you're going to relax now? And if I've said that enough times, any time I use the emphasis on relax, they're going to they're going to in their mind say now. And it makes them relax even more. Again, you're, you're convincing them that they're doing the hypnosis even deeper for themselves. They're taking on the, the suggestion. Interesting sensation, isn't it? Mm. Just by being focused. And Adam, I'm not sure when your eyes will close, but when they do, just notice what happens. Again, not suggesting that his eyes have to close. I'm just saying I'm not sure when your eyes will close, which is implying that they are going to close without saying your eyes will close. I'm not sure when they're going to close. I'm not sure when I'm going to go to the toilet today. I'm going to go to the toilet today regardless. You know I mean, I'm not sure when I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm going to get my hair cut eventually. It's just on the top of my mind. I need to um, do that. And plus, the thing about me going to the toilet, I can't use my toilet, I can't use my shower, I've got no water in my house right now, it sucks, but it's life. And any external noises can help you drift. And help. Using external noises is quite a powerful thing as well. If you hear a dog barking, or you hear police sirens, or you hear like something happening in the background, just use it to say that any external noises can help you relax even deeper, which normally they may distract you, but now they can relax you. Into hypnosis now. There you go. There you go, nearly there. There you go, so being aware, being sense, having sensory acuity, which is just being aware of what's going on. When he started to blink, I encouraged him that that was the thing to do. There you go, oh, so then it's again just reminding about closing his eyes. And it's as if this state is such a relaxing state of mind that you can find yourself drifting deeper down. There you go. There you go. So relaxed. So that is the eye fixation in, uh, induction to hypnosis. And that really is a powerful induction that you can use with anyone. That's probably gonna be the easiest if you're new to hypnosis. But it's also a very simple one that anyone can use. And as you saw all of these videos, I specifically chose videos where I did it on Zoom because Zoom is just as impactful for using hypnosis. And what I wanna teach people is that you can just use hypnosis over Zoom, getting the same results with your clients so that you can also live the life that you wanna live. If you wanna travel the world, like I'm living in Mexico right now, you can travel the world, you can do what you wanna do, you can work on your schedule. That's something that I'm really passionate about because for me it's very important to have that freedom.
different and I still help people, I still get uh, results with people and I'm still building a business. So it's a win-win in every single way. So if you want to learn Zoom hypnosis, let me know and I can help you do that. But other than that, subscribe.